Happy Tiny Tuesday, folks. It's time to make another very colorful piece of art that is autumn related. Or so I thought. And then, well, I did run through the whole stack of my scrap papers, to, looked at very many pattern papers, chose few of them, took my uh, leaf stencil, I think it is an oak tree, oak leaf stencil, I think, I think it could be. Anyway, took that, well, did uh, transfer the shape onto very many pieces of pattern paper and then cut out the shapes. Um, you can see here, you're zoomed in really close. I'm working with a new camera and I think next week I'm gonna back off a tiny tiny bit for you. I'm sorry, it will, it will get better, but you're really there in the creative business with me. <laughs> So today I I'm well in general I'm not really a big paper piecing artist. I do like to work with different kinds of papers. I like to use it for what I want, but I'm not one of those people that builds whole sceneries only with different kinds of paper. Or I do it very rarely. Today I do, but like I said, not very often. And uh, I, I just felt like it. I don't know what it was, but it. I just felt like oh, I want a paper piece. I don't want to paint. I did already paint this this week. I'm. I want something different. So on and so on. So uh, I decided I would, well, use lots and lots of papers um, in different shapes that are maybe not traditionally autumn. Some are rather wild, as you can see here. Those. Uh, stripy pattern papers there well I, I wouldn't really say autumn but they definitely have colors in there that I do associate with autumn and I just like to work for different seasons or holidays especially and then have something be off like the color that you would uh, traditionally associate with it or shapes, patterns, things like that. And today it was the colors. I do like those stencils that I use from the board games. I did use them last year with Autumn as well. I just love that shape. Oh yeah, now you can see what I did there, right? Uh, I <laughs> zoomed out and you can see something a bit bigger. And I'm just trying to arrange all of the leaves and see what I want and have a very dark navy blue background there. Also paper. Um, but I, what I like to do, what I like to play with is, um, well, working with colors that are not traditional but still have something nice and harmonic be there and something that kind of fits. So I'm trying to arrange all of my leaves and see how I want them. I want them not like um, they're like soldiers all next to each other. I didn't want to bend them too much but I wanted to bend them a tiny bit. So I took a, a super glue and just did uh, glue down a very small part of the piece so that I could curl up the rest which I'm gonna do in a minute here. And also that glue dries in like five seconds and you're good to go. This is awesome for paper to paper if you something if you want something to really stick and don't have the messy things like hot glue going on. And uh, yeah, I, I just uh, wanted something chaotic like leaves in the wind, but something very... Uh, um, I don't want to say calm, but like positioned it's like it's it has to be there it's the right space not like total chaos you know so i enhanced the shapes of the leaves with some ink dark green ink and uh, then went in with a gel pen and that didn't work for uh, having the veins so i took a black marker to have it uh, show up and then I went with uh, white and silver watercolor and just speckled things on there and that's that that makes all the difference that makes it even look or have more movement on the piece itself and it also 
has a different kind of an interest going on. It would, I think the piece would have been a bit bland without the, the, the speckles. So I just really like it. It's like boom, color in your face, right? <laughs> that is my video. I hope you enjoyed watching along. If you have questions or comments, as per usual, leave them in the comment section below. I will see you tomorrow with a new board game that Tina and I paint. And I thank you very much for watching. Do other good YouTube stuff. Go create something today. Bye-bye.